kidsadvance.com. We're here with American Authors. Can you introduce yourself? Woo! Yeah, what's up? I'm Dave. I'm Zach. I'm Matt. If you could write a book, what book would you write? Like science fiction? Oh, what kind of book would I write? Wow. You know what I would do? I would write a graphic novel. So then I could illustrate really cool, crazy drawings and then have some intricate science fiction alien storyline to go with it. We love and, aliens. Yeah. yeah. The problem with that is that we only know how to draw stick figures at this point. So, <laughs> so it's yeah. going to be pretty artistic. It would not be a very interesting graphic novel. It could be a lot of stick figures. We actually have a graphic novel we are working on going in the van right now uh, <laughs> along tour. Each person will do like six squares and then and they'll, they'll pass it off and then the next person has to add on to the story. But it's like the worst illustrations you've ever seen. And the storyline's not great either, we're still working It's on like it. these two stick people go out on a date and they don't like each other very much. So then so a they... monster comes and eats one and yeah. I don't know, you know, just... It really makes no sense at all. It's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, it's like a dates. mix between like Star Trek and like Shawshank Redemption, all mixed into one <laughs> stick figure graphic novel. Meets kind of Dora the Explorer, you know? <laughs> Meets, yeah, Dora the Explorer. If you had to be one age for the rest of your life, what age would it be? I don't know, Taylor Swift is making 22 sound pretty good, <laughs> right? So, 22 is a good year. 22 is a good year. I'd be 12 teen. 12 teen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I don't know, I'm only I'm only 26 right now, so there's still a lot of years that I've never seen. Like, he acts 12 teen. What, right what if I say to you right now that I want to be 22 forever, but then down the road, what if like 45 is the best age? Or like, what if 70 is really cool? Because then you're like this old dude who can just chill, sit in a rocking chair, and then, you know, hang out all Collect day. benefits. Nah, man, 20, <laughs> 20s is where it's at. <laughs> 20s fun. Right now is pretty good, yeah. The How old are, are you fun. guys? 12. 12. Oh. 12 teen. 12 teen. <laughs> so, That's a good age. Yeah, no, 20 is pretty good. 20s are good. When you're a kid and lip singing in front of the mirror, who are you pretending to be? Singing in front of the mirror. Yeah, singing in front of the mirror. Uh, I always thought I was Louis Armstrong. Yeah, that's a good one. So you would like get your sing on and then get your trumpet on. Yeah. So you... <laughs> I had a few Michael Jackson moments. He's got the dance moves. Not, oh. Yeah, not necessarily things I'd want to share, but he can. <laughs> actually, his moonwalking is really is really great. He should show you right yeah. over there on the side. Yeah. yeah, I would. But let's see it right now. He's got the shoes on for it and everything. Yeah, he brought a special Michael Jackson shoes. He's put, he's put me on the spot. I have no idea how to moonwalk. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretend. Yeah, I don't know. I can I walk was, backwards. Uh... And he would be any female 80s singer. Yeah, true. What's the guy's name from the darkness? That was you. Yeah, right? <laughs> we interviewed them. Oh yeah? oh, yeah? They're cool. I like them. No, I was kind of like a, I was like a 90s grunge kid. So I would sing a lot. I was singing like Stone Temple Pilots and Nirvana. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, all that stuff. He was also really into corn. Yeah. <laughs> I got my corn on. You should cry. Yeah. I'm going to do some of that on the stage today, bring it back for a little bit. You know, corn! Where you at, guys? <laughs> if you had to change your band name to a TV show or movie, what would it be? Oh, wow. That's a good one. Yeah, these are good questions. I, I didn't like come prepared. Housewives of New Jersey. I'm, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Real, I wasn't Real prepared Housewives for of New Jersey. <laughs> Real Housewives of New Jersey. Or yeah. Laguna Beach. Or Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hot I that 80 show. You know that? Oh, it was good. No, but it was, all, it was only on for like half a season because it was so terrible. Got canceled. That 80 oh, show. yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about that 70s show. No, that's the better one. Yeah, that is the better one. The better one? The better one. The better one. <laughs> huh. I don't know. What do you guys think? What would you call us? Yeah. The Three Stooges, probably. That's a good one. <laughs> so what, do you guys what, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, oh no. Um. The pressure's on now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel too good, does it? <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like, where did you guys start? How did you come up with your band name? I'm glad it's not. I'm glad it's not. What inspired your songs? No, this is this is much better. I'm you know you're throwing me off here. <laughs> All right. What kind of pe pets did you have when you were kids, and what were their names? I had a gerbil. His name was Norman. 
I had a really strange story. I had dogs. I had one and her name was Baz. Basil. I had another dog named Chili. He was really crazy. He would run around. Pretty cool. He was an opposite of Chili. Yeah, no, he was not chill. And then Pugsy. <laughs> and then Pugsy, which was I, I a pug. Pugsy. And I named her after Jay-Z, so it was Pug Dash Z. That was like her official name. <laughs> I had I had a rat. I had a pet rat. His name was Mini Me. Probably says a lot about uh, <laughs> probably says a lot about it. Says so much about yeah, it. Yeah, and, I, like uh, that, I had a uh, goldfish named Goldie. And I have a cat now that's named Froggy. Oh yeah. She's the best. Or, you know, AKA Gavin Duclaw. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever see that movie City Slippers? Uh, no. So the cow, the guy had a pet cow and his name was Norman, and that's how I named my gerbil. Because I loved that cow. He's a good one. <laughs> Deep down inside you love cows. I love cows. I like Jay-Z, so I named my dog Bugsy. <laughs> and Mini Me is self-explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> Ratting out real hard. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, can you name all the Spice Girls? Oh, oh wow, yeah, I think what, so. Scary, ginger? Sporty, Ginger. Baby. Gosh. Baby. Baby and Jay-Z. Jay-Z. <laughs> Jay-Z was the manager back then. Yeah, he was. People, people don't know that. David Beckham. No, wait. David Beckham's <laughs> part of the crew. And, uh, yeah. Victoria Beckham, the real name. He's trying to do, like, everything. Oh, we can do that now. Spice Mark, World was Mark, a movie Mark. which came out in 1997. Do you guys watch that? No, I like that movie. I watched part of it. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the part where the aliens come out? I did not watch that part. Oh, that's, that's actually, the best part. That's what our graphic novel is I stopped because it was, it was so bad. The Spice Girls movie? Spice World? Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Oh, yeah. There's a part where aliens come down and party with the Spice Girls. Spice World. People don't remember that That part. was my first date. <laughs> when I was in third grade, I brought my first date to see Spice World. They, they were yeah. an adorable couple, but they didn't really last. Cute. It lasted like all of like seven hours. And him and I have been dating ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Guys. <laughs>